Hello, boxing world, and welcome to another edition of Fantasy Bout Hour, the channel dedicated to bringing you fantasy matchups on a regular basis. If there's a particular matchup that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comment section, and I promise to honor your requests. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell notification. It will be well worth it. The fight I'll be covering in this video comes by way of request. And this is coming from Adari Pennant. I thank you for your request and I thank you for participating in the channel. The fight that Adari brought up was Larry Holmes versus Ike Abeyabuchi. What a tremendous matchup. Both of these guys were dangerous guys, and um, both of these guys were one of the greatest of their eras. Um, Ike Abeyabuchi left much to be desired because his career was cut short due to circumstances that I don't need to go into. But at the end of the day, he was undefeated. So who knows? I truly believe that he would have dominated his era. As far as Larry Holmes, um, his accomplishments are obvious. Um, he's fought the best of his era, beaten the best of his era. So, of course, Larry Holmes is more proven than Ike Bayabuchi. But I, I always go off the premises that Styles makes fights. And um, so there you have it. And as far as these two, um, I suspect that this will be similar to Larry Holmes' fight with Michael Spinks. You know, with Ike Abeyabuchi being just a little more aggressive. So, um, I truly believe that Abeyabuchi would have given Larry Holmes problems. Now, Larry Holmes has one of the greatest jabs in the history of boxing. But, is it enough to keep Ike Abeyabuchi off? We don't know that. But I believe that Ike had the skills to get past his jab, get on the inside, and make life difficult for Larry Holmes. And so, um, this is a tough fight to analyze, which means I have to go with my gut instincts. And um, my gut says Ike Abeyabuchi wins this by late knockout or close decision. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. But, um, you know, it's not the easiest one to analyze. But all I can say is that both of these guys were evenly matched. It would have been a great matchup. Um, but I have to go with Ike on this one. And please let me know what, what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Um, even if you disagree with me, if you agree with me, it doesn't matter. I, I just love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next video.